We gotta let the music play Cause life is still a mystery Janine, I planned the entire interaction out, start to finish, because I had to ask this girl a super embarrassing question, and I just knew that I would never have to see her again. And so that should tell you what kind of a planner I am, because I have talked to, texted, or seen this girl every day for the last 20 years. And so you can imagine that in 20 years, I've accumulated quite a few more embarrassing stories. All of which I could tell you tonight, except her parents and my children are here. So, instead, I am going to address this to Brian. Because in 20 years, I find that I have become the expert in all things Janine. And tonight, you made a vow to love, honor, and cherish Janine. And so I'm going to tell you what it means when you've committed to love Janine. When you love Janine, you're going to be talked into things you don't want to do. She'll sweeten the deal. When we were in college, Janine was a graphic design major and her creative process was such that she was usually working on the project the night before it was due. And that meant a 3 a.m. run to the FedEx Kinko's to have that project printed. And she would wake me up in the middle of the night, and go, drive with me, just come with me, I'll buy you a Slurpee on the way home. And I would get out of bed and go to the FedEx Kinko's for that Slurpee. But my favorite part of that trip was not the Slurpee on the way home. My favorite part of that trip was marching into the FedEx Kinko's where Janine would hand over her disc or her file. And then she would march around behind the counter, push the man out of the way, format it, and print it herself. Because, Brian, when you love Janine, sometimes you just need to let her be in charge. <laughs> and that wasn't the last thing that I would get talked into. No, no, there would be many a birthday and a Halloween party and parties for things that I don't even know if we had. And I would get a phone call and I would say, yes, fine, we can have just this party, but can we keep it low key? Just, can we keep it low key? as she was already having cotton candy machines and donut towers shipped to my house. Because when you love Janine, you're saying yes to magic. When you love Janine, you're gonna need to be ready to share. For a long time, we had a joint custody arrangement over two cardigan sweaters. One white sweater, one black sweater. You never needed to own both, you only had to have one because we never wore matching outfits and this was a great arrangement for a long time until we found that sometimes our dorm room closets vomited into the floor and you'd be waiting ankle deep looking for the sweater that the other friends needed to borrow. Because when you love Janine, you're gonna share and you're gonna share in some messes. But she's always gonna be willing to help you share your messes too. There are a million household projects that I've had over the years that I have postponed for days or weeks or months because leave it alone, Janine will do it when she gets here. <laughs> and this goes back to sometimes Janine just needs to be in charge. But the best thing about loving Janine is that when you love Janine, you also become famous. When I was in college, the Stobbs took me out to lunch every Sunday. When I loved Janine, she would come to our family Thanksgivings. She came to my sister's wedding and made all of the children smile. A feat I will not repeat at your wedding. <laughs> 
When you love Janine, it's always a shoulder to cry on. It's a best friend on the other end of the phone. It's watching somebody that you've seen grow up find the love of her life and stand beside him. And Brian, I could not have picked anyone better. I think that I am best equipped to do that. And so today I wish you both a lifetime of happiness, a lifetime of 20 years of happiness that you've brought to me and my family and my children, and a lifetime of happiness and family that you'll bring to her. Cheers to you both. Uh, she's been playing in this speech for 20 years. I never thought this speech would happen, so <laughs> I was a little behind the eight ball and kind of came up with this on the fly. But uh, no, I, uh, I'm so happy for both of you. Uh, Janine, welcome to our family. Crazy, everybody here knows who, who we are, what we do, and how we do it. Uh, Brian, by everything I've seen so far, you couldn't have picked a better partner. Um, you know, our, our dad would be very, very, very proud. Um, we're missing some people. Uh, grandparents on the mother's side, the Gutses, grandmother on dad's side, various aunts and uncles and other relatives. Um, and Brian's always been a huge family person. And that's where he wants to be. That's who he wants to be with. Um, that's why we're here tonight and welcoming Janine into our family and the Stobbs and Whitney's family into our family, so thank you all for coming. Um, however, there is something about Brian that only Katie and I know. <laughs> yeah, so Brian was an extremely unique looking little baby and Katie and I have been convinced our whole life that Brian is not of this planet. <laughs> and so what I've been able to do is, as Brian is truly a part of our family, but I was able to go out and get an audio message from his real father. But back to all sincerity, Janine, welcome to the family. Brian, congratulations on picking such a wonderful bride. To the travelers who came in from out of town, to family and friends who have helped us celebrate, thank you all very much. And I want to say cheers to Brian and Janine. I do. I do.